Coco with what is Coco doing today? Coco has another pen for you. <laughs> Peter and I love collecting pens that are no longer available, that are limited editions or special editions, and they have to be a little bit unusual, whether it be the design or the filling system. And we've had some excellent luck with some sellers from eBay. I know you have to be very careful when you're buying on eBay and we've had great luck. This pen I'm about to show you, we got from an eBay seller. His name is Rosmenko from Australia. He's been wonderful to work with, very honorable man. And, and uh, so far what we've gotten in have been wonderful. And I will be showing some of those other pens in other videos later on. But right now we're gonna talk about this pen. And it is a Visconti, one of my favorite lines of pens. And let's give it a little open. And it comes in the leatherette box. And I've decided that I'm going to switch cameras so we can get a better look at this beautiful writing instrument. Now it's time to see what's in the box. I'm so excited to show you. So of course you get the Visconti catalog. We all know what these are. It's a catalog of their pens. And we have the identification card because it is a limited edition pen. And I'm gonna, we have the Visconti Millennium Arc Rainbow Limited Edition pen. And it is stunning. I love the colors in this pen. You got, it's an acrylic multicolor with a blue cap. And on the cap band, you will see where it says rainbow. out of the way. There we go. The cap band or the cap clip looks like a double rainbow and so doesn't the arc here. This is a crescent filler or an arc filler pen and I don't know if you're not familiar with crescent fillers or arc fillers. It has this little plastic knob here and you turn it to unlock or to activate and then you press this down in your ink and it sucks up the ink into the sack in the pen. So I will sh demonstrate that in a minute with the ink that I chose for this. It has the smart touch nib. There we go. Smart touch. And it is a medium nib. It's actually called the Smart Touch Chromium 18 Steel Tubular. I have a few of these and I do like that. It is a limited edition and we have 118 out of 200. I have to tell you, when closing this pen, you have to align, you have to, in order to align so the two arcs kind of are on the same plane, you gotta put the pen in this way to turn it. And there you go. And so now they align. The pen is, let me see get the measurements for you here. The length closed is 5.6 inches and the length open is 4.8. And the weight of the pen emptied is 32 grams. Now, for me, I don't post, and I it's kind of comfortable this way in my hand. I think posting it, it gets very weighty and it, it, for me, I, I just don't like it. So I leave it unposted. It's a beautiful pen in the swirls of colors. You get 
many ink choices you can put in this pen. I think you might like the ch what I chose. So let's get the ink and I'll show you. And I'm just gonna be extra careful. I'm gonna make sure I get lined up with all my tissues and paper towels and stuff here. Oh yeah. So I am using the Visconti Wheat Field Under Thunder Clouds. And belie I believe this is from the Van Gogh collection of Visconti. It's a pretty limey green. Okay, so here I got it on, I got it opened. The other thing too is you can tell when it's open, it makes it kind of shaky. So you can hear that when you shake it, it's like, feels like it's loose, but it's this, this part here. And then when it's locked back down, it doesn't make a sound at all. So I think that's kind of good to let you know, to be careful that you don't make sure that it's locked when it has ink in it. <laughs> so basically you can do it one-handed and you just put it in the ink and you press and you release. And I hold it in there and it's back up again. And I'm actually gonna do it a couple of times because I wanna make sure that air is out of it. And it does have a little bit of bubbling and you can see that. And so I'm just gonna do it one more time. I think that's going to be a good fill. Let me get my paper towels here. Okay. okay. Just make sure I get this cleaned up. Now, stay tuned and I'll be right back with a writing sample. Now for the writing sample. I do love this pen. It's a great pen. Love the colors. So we have the pen is the Visconti. Millennial Arc, Rainbow. And I forgot to mention that this pen came out in 2015. Okay, and the ink that I'm using is the Visconti. Wheat field. Under thunderclouds. Really writes lovely. It's nice and smooth. It's not scratchy. I really, really enjoying this pen. And the nib is the Smart Touch Chromium eighteen. Steel tubular nib. And it's in a medium. So, I forgot to dot the eye over here. Um, let me talk a little bit for a second or two more about this nib. Um, they do not make this nib anymore. I have a few pens that do have the Smart Touch Tubular, and I kind of like it. I don't seem to have a problem 
and it writes so smooth. This is the medium nib, and uh, it lays down the ink lovely. Um, the tubular section of this, it was it came out around the same time, probably about 2015, and it's a unique shape, allowing you to fill your pen without having the need to dip the whole thing up to the section in your ink. So it's a clean, more efficient fill, and due to the where the air hole is here, um, in the back of the nib, right, right about there, um, it, it allows the nib to stay wet for longer before drying out. And uh, like I said, I really, in, I have a few of pens that have this nib and I don't seem to have a problem, knock on wood. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna do something a little bit special and um, if you give me a minute or two, I'm going to do a little bit of the writing sample off camera and I'm gonna be right back. Stay tuned. Why are there so many songs about rainbows and what's on the other side? Rainbows have visions and only illusions. Rainbows have nothing to hide. So we Hope you enjoyed my little opening to what I was writing, Rainbow Connections. It's a great song, and when I saw my pen and its name, I knew this is what I wanted to write. I love music, and I think in song a lot, and sometimes I sing a song or two. So I hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> I'm gonna, this song was originally sung by Kermit the Frog. And it was written by Paul Williams back in 1979 for the Muppets. Let's do a little bit more of this writing. I just love this nib. And it is just writing so well. It's nice and wet. I got a great line with it. Oh yes, it's juicy. <laughs> I'm very pleased with this. I will be listing in the description the seller from eBay and also the other places I love to shop for my fine writing equipment. <laughs> I am not sponsored by anybody. I just wanted to share where I get my things from. So they'll be linked in my description. If you like me, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you for watching. And I really hope you have an amazing day. Ciao for now.